Good morning, dear class six students. So, in the last class, I have sent you the solved numericals of the second chapter, physical quantities and measurement. Now, today I will explain you how to solve the numericals. So, for this, you please refer page number thirty-eight from your physics book. Question number one. Now, question number one is one thousand five rupee coins are piled up. If the height of the pile is three centimeter five millimeter, find the thickness of it. One five rupee coin. Now, the question is like this: There are one thousand five rupee coins, and that one rupee five thousand coins are piled up. That means they are stacked one after the another. Okay, and the height of that one thousand five rupee coin is three centimeter five millimeter. So you have to find the thickness of one five rupee coin. So for that, number of five rupee coins. That means one thousand five rupee coins makes twelve. That means you can write instead of writing one thousand five rupee coin, you can write it twelve. Number of five Rupee coin is equals to twelve. Height of a pile. That means that five rupees coin are stacked one after the other, and it forms a long height, and that height is three centimeter and five millimeter. So three centimeter convert this millimeter into centimeter. So to convert millimeter into centimeter, you have to divide it by ten. So three centimeter plus five upon ten centimeter. Now this millimeter will become as centimeter. Then three centimeter plus five divided by ten, that will become zero point five centimeter. When you add it, this will become three point five centimeter. Now thickness of one five rupee coin. How to calculate thickness of one uh, one five rupee coin is total length of the pile divided by number of coins. So total length of the pile is three point five centimeter. Number of coins are twelve. So three point five divided by 12. Remove the decimal here. 35 divided by 120. Zero. zero will come down as the denominator. Cancel with 5. 5 sevens are 35. 5 twos are 10. 2 will come here. It becomes 20. 5 fours are 20. So 7 by 24. Now you divide 7 by 24. Okay. So divide 7 by 24. It will come 0.29166 or You can write it 0.29 centimeter. So this 0.29 centimeter is the thickness of one five rupee coin. Now the second question is: the length of a rectangular field is 55 meter and its breadth is 40 meter. Calculates its area. So this is for question number two. There is a rectangular field. Okay, there is a shape of a rectangle. This is length. Length is given 55 meter. Okay, and this length will also be 55 meter. Breadth is given 40 meter. This will also be 40 meter. Okay, so you have to find the area. So length is length of a rectangular field is given 55 meter. Breadth equals to 40 meter. Now you have to find area. So to calculate area, you have to multiply length into breadth. So length into breadth will be the area. So 55 meter into 40 meter. Okay, multiply this. Four fives are 20. Four fives are 20. 20 plus 2, 22, and one zero will come. Meter into meter will be the meter square. So this is your The second answer. Okay, so length equals to 55 meter, breadth equals to 40 meter, area equals to length into breadth. Length is given 55 meter, breadth is given 40 meter. So multiply 4 into 55. First to multiply 4 into 55. That is 220, and add one zero. So it becomes 2022, 2200 meter square is the area of a rectangular field. Now the question number three. In question number three, the area of a rectangular sheet of a mantle is 450 centimeters square. So there is a 
a metal sheet and the area of the metal sheet area means this area is given as 450 centimeter square area is given 50 centimeter square length is given 25 centimeter this will also be 25 centimeter and breadth you have to calculate okay so breadth you don't know you have to find the breadth okay so now to calculate breadth area is given area of a rectangular metal sheet is given 450 centimeter square so area equals to length into breadth okay so length into breadth equals to 450 centimeter square length is given 25 centimeter breadth you don't know you write it b then 450 centimeter square breadth equals to 450 centimeter square divided by 25 centimeter okay now you divide into 5 5 five are 25 5 lines are 45 0 will come here then again 5 ones are 5 5 ones are 5 4 will come where 5 gates are 40 so this centimeter and 1 centimeter will also be cancelled so break equals to 18 centimeter okay now area equals to 450 centimeter square so we know that area equals to length into breadth length into breadth equals to 450 centimeter square length is given 25 centimeter breadth is given breadth is not given we have to find breadth area is given 450 centimeter square then breadth equals to 450 centimeter square divided by 25 centimeter so centimeter square means two times centimeter okay centimeter into centimeter so cancel with five here five five is a 25 five ninety is a 450 5 ones are 5, 5 18 is a 90. Okay, so 1 centimeter at the denominator and another centimeter at the numerator cancels. So only centimeter will remain here. So therefore, breadth equals to 18 centimeter. Now, the next question, number 4. Your father is back from, back home from office at 1730. Convert the time into 12 hour format. Okay, now how to convert the time into 12 hour format? So look at this clock here. This is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so from 12, okay, afternoon, okay, 1 can be considered as 13, 2, 14, 3, 15, 4, 16, 5, 17, 6, 18, 7, 19, 8, 20. 9, 21, 10, 22, 11, 23, and 12, 24. Okay. Now, the, uh, the time is given as 17, 30. Time is 17, 30. So, 17, 30 means 5. Okay. 30 means that is, it comes here. 6. Okay. So, it is 17, 30 means in 12 hour format, 17, 30 is equivalent to 5.30 p.m. Okay, so 17.30 in 12 hour format is equivalent to 5.30 p.m. Okay, so this is question number 4. Now the last question. A train leaves Delhi at 4.45. That is 4 hours 45 minutes and reaches Kolkata at 23 hours 30 minutes minutes calculate the time taken by it to reach from Delhi to Kolkata so how much time is needed to reach from Delhi to Kolkata now time taken to leave Delhi equals to 4.45 that is 4 hours 45 minutes again time taken to reach Kolkata 23 hours 30 minutes time taken to reach from Delhi to Kolkata. So, what is the time taken to reach from Delhi to Kolkata? You have to subtract it here. 23.30 minus 4.45. When you subtract it, it will come 18 hours 85 minutes. So, these are the, the new uh, the solved numericals of 5 questions from chapter 2. Please go through the video carefully and try to understand it. Thank you.